What's up guys? Welcome back to Smelly Belly TV. Today Tara and I are going to be doing the dollar store dessert challenge. Yes. And we're going to see what parent does it the best. Will it be me, the awesome chef, the amazing baker, Jesse Black? What? Or will it be I'm, Tara? Who's the, the culinary graduate the here? Non-baking. I'm the culinary graduate. I'm and the culinary right. graduate. Wait, wait, and it's we're all about, about me. starting a new series called like who can cook it better and it's gonna be me and Jesse versus each other so hit your thumbs up and leave us a comment if you think that's something you'd want to watch our goal for today is to make a dollar tree dessert gourmet that's the challenge yep I know they're not gonna have fresh fruit here. Maybe frozen fruit. Yeah, that they probably do have frozen okay, fruit. Okay, so that could save the day. But they literally only have apple pie filling, which is very seasonal right now. But I, this is not what I wanted. Now this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted Dang the apple you. pie filling. I know what I'm gonna be making for dessert. I already <sighs> knew, so I'm gonna stick this in here. I might need, I think three cans. Three cans, of, you know. jeez, trying to give us a sugar rush or what? And I'm gonna need evaporated milk. 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 Same difference. Is that the same thing? Yeah, same difference. You need a can too? Or yes. are you trying to copy me? Well, we're making our take on the same dessert. It's yeah, basically yeah, yeah. like a bread pudding is what we're making. Mm. Just just stop trying to be so secretive about it. Jeez. I actually did find evaporated milk. 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 Guess what? Mine is already gonna be more gourmet because I'm gonna be making my own compote while you oh. are using canned. We'll see about that. Ha. The day has not been saved. I was really banking on some frozen fruit so I could make my own fresh berry compote for my dessert topping, and there's no fresh fruit. Why do you gotta get all technical with the terms like compote? And I'm gonna also be making a chocolate ganache. So I mean, where are you, where are you even in this competition? Where are you? Getting a little worried that Tara's gonna do something like pretty spectacular and amazing because she has bacon. What the heck are you gonna do with bacon? Don't worry about it. I'm actually concerned that you're gonna win this thing. All right, so we made it back home and I am gonna start on my dessert. Uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these donuts. We have we had to get some donuts here. The one non-dollar tree item we were allowed to use. The one non-dollar tree item. <laughs> Cause they didn't have any. They had like one tiny package of donuts left and it wasn't enough for so, both of us. <laughs> but it doesn't count cause this was already at the house, so. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and line up my donuts like this. I wanna get as much coverage in the bowl as possible. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick, girl. Sugar. <laughs> but this thing is not time because I usually do terrible. Me and Jayla are both like we're both horrible at <laughs> timed events. That's why we work good as a team. Do well under pressure. <laughs> You're not even timed. You literally just said. This is so easy, I have no pressure. <laughs> yeah, but whenever we're filming and stuff, and I am trying to do a better dessert than you, I feel like totally pressured. You'll probably do a better dessert than me, so. I wonder how this tastes. Oh, I'm gonna drink it. Mm, is it sweet? I would definitely use it in my coffee, for sure. All right, so I think that looks like enough evaporator. Right. We don't want too much because the donuts need to be able to absorb it. Exactly, you don't want floating donuts. Uh, that might be a little Ooh. too much. First mistake of the day. Okay, good thing we're, you know, we're all one big happy family around here. You know what it tastes <laughs> like? What? It tastes like your milk after you had cereal in it. It's just my turn! Okay, all right, I'm also gonna do a donut base. I have pre-greased my pan, and I'm just gonna make mine kind of just like chunky bits. Doesn't gotta be pretty. It's gonna taste good no matter what. So you're going for more of the speed run. Just get this done quick. Get it in the oven and move on with my life because I got things to do today. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I did challenge myself to a couple extra steps. See if I can really beat you. Okay, so what are the extra steps? I have to make a ganache and I already have candy bacon in the works. Oh my God, so, what is candy bacon for those of us that don't know? It's basically just bacon, you cook it and then you top it off with a little bit of like maple syrup and you throw it back in the oven and let it candy. Oh, now, so the sugars make it like kind of tough. Yeah, it makes it more like a chewy, it's, it's a garnish. 
Okay. So we got our donut base right here. Okay. That's how that looks. And then I'm gonna go in, same as Jesse, evaporated milk, because you can't go wrong with the evaporated milk in this situation. Are you gonna go with the evaporated milk or the evaporated creamer? The creamer is gonna be for my ganache. Oh, so you're using both. Yes, okay. I'm gonna be using both. They didn't have the typical ingredients for like a fancy ganache, like what you would normally make a ganache with, so I have to see what I can come up with here. I'm having a struggle. Oh my goodness, okay. How'd you get this open so easy? Just get the can open. Oh my. Just get the can open. Ow, I'm struggling. I can't get it, it keeps popping off. All right, I think I got it. No, I need oh my goodness. More in there now. Okay, we'll be back. This is taking forever. So Jesse is currently only on step two and he has about four more steps to go. So we could be here a while and I have a secret ingredient. Um, and then he tried to steal my secret ingredient while we were at the store. Can you believe it? So I have a secret ingredient. We'll see if that'll put me over the top. I don't know because I have a feeling the kids are gonna know which dessert is his and they're gonna feel sorry for him and vote for him. Okay, so next up, I have my apple pie filling and this did come from the dollar store. Everything so did, yeah, except I'm the donuts. Hoping, yeah, <laughs> I'm hoping that it tastes good. I've never had dollar store, but I'm guessing I'm sure apple good. pie filling is probably pretty Let's similar. Let's see how it looks. Store. It looks really good. Um, oh yeah, there's apple chunks in there. I'm so. gonna do a little taste test on it. I think you're good to go. Okay, so I have the cinnamon toast crunch, sugar, and cinnamon. I'm gonna just yes. sprinkle a little bit of that across the donuts here, just get a nice little base going and get it in that. And we did not get that from the Dollar Tree, so if you go look for it, I can't promise you it'll be there, but we are allowed to use spices out of the cabinet, so. Yes, we are. So. Um, see, you're going with a very like seasonal dessert. I'm not. Right, so, mine is like a twist on Thanksgiving, which I think like is really time. cool, yeah. actually. It is. And it is almost fall time. That so could this be in might, your favor. Yeah, it could be in my favor. Because <laughs> everybody's in the mood for like fall flavored things, because we're all sick of summer things, and I'm doing summer flavors, so I don't know. That's okay, I still think <laughs> yours is going to be quite delightful. Quite delightful. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I like the technique. Let's see that. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Why? Well, you say I'm the messy one. See, yeah. that's your payback for saying that well, I'm the messy one. Well, it wasn't my fault. I didn't, it was an accident. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Oh, I'm all sticky. Clean up, Show right. Clean up right. Thank you, kind sir. Appreciate it. You're welcome. So this is the final ingredient that I'm gonna be using from um, the house. The house. <laughs> it's just a little bit of evaporated milk here. Got some more cinnamon sugar action going. And I think the kids are gonna love it for like a perfect after school snack. And I'm not gonna go crazy with the chocolate because you know I do want them to have like this is an after school snack, so I want them to have a little bit of healthiness in here. So I mean they get it with the apple. <laughs> Where is it? Where it's in is with it? The apples. It's in with the apples. The sugar soaked apples. <laughs> yeah, that looks perfect. Yep, I just Just enough chocolate to more. accent it, but not take over, you know? Yep. Oh, it's really oh, hot. Oh, jeez, be careful. <laughs> uh, next up, I'm gonna drizzle my evaporated milk on all right, here. All right, looks good. Just over the Ooh, chocolate. Don't burn yourself. Jeez, you're making me nervous. This was gonna uh, help the cinnamon and sugar really bind. Oh, yeah, there. for sure. And then we can move on to our cake batter crust. Sounds delicious. Oh, look at this beautifulness. Ooh, it does look good. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be yummy. Okay, I'm so frazzled now, I forgot what goes next. Okay, I think my peaches, because I'm gonna go peach white chocolate. You know, that's my. Does that sound good to you? I mean, that no, sounds No, you're not giving me good. any feedback I mean, here. I need some feedback. Yeah, go with the peach white chocolate. That sounds well, great. I'm glad you think so, because that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> now, do I cut these babies up or put them in halves? Uh, cut them in halves. Oh, I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared at all. Okay. Here we are. They look pretty. These were definitely canned at peak freshness. Okay, we're gonna do chop, chop, chop. There we are. Okay, I think 
one more. One more for good luck. Gotta have that peach flavor, you know? It's gotta bring the peach flavor. I can't call it peach bread pudding without the peach. We're just gonna toss those in. Don't like you that. wanna taste test though to make sure oh. that you have enough sugary substance? Well, they're in syrup. Mmm. You're going for a marbled effect, or what's going on a here? A little bit, yeah. I'm gonna do the cake batter like this. Mm hmm and just kind of nice, nice even layer. Okay. Just like this, and then I'm gonna, I like it. I'm gonna add a little bit more of cinnamon and sugar on top. All right, cinnamon and sugar every layer. I like it. I like where you're going with it. So we're gonna go get a nice coverage mm -hmm. of the yellow cake, so it has, so it builds up a nice crust. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you guys can't tell, I take cooking, baking very seriously <laughs> because I mess it up all the time. <laughs> so I finally want to like do good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if you guys go through our old cooking videos and watch how many hot mess disasters I've had, and then you'll understand why I'm being so careful about this because I'm sick and tired of losing to Tara. All right, ladies and gents. That's what it looks like. We got butter on there and now we're putting her in. If you want to replicate this, the key is lots of butter on the top. Who do you think is going to win this thing? Me or you? I don't know. Honestly. I, feel like, I feel like yours is better. I really do. But I'm liking where mine is going. I was feeling doubtful about my dessert, but I feel better now. I, I think like that vanilla ganache sounds really good. Right. So I'm interested to see how that comes out and for it'll, you. It'll go good with the peaches. So for my candy option, because we both decided we were going to have some kind of candy option included, um, I went with the white chocolate Kit Kats to stick with my white chocolate theme here. Because I feel like peaches go much better with white chocolate than they do with... Milk, milk chocolate. I think so too. Chocolate's yeah. kind of tough to go with peaches, it to is. tell you the truth. So the thing that I'm doing a little differently is I'm going to be using a cookie mix instead of cake batter because I thought it looked pretty and fun. It comes with the sprinkles in it. You know, even though my kids have a pretty sophisticated palate, you know, who doesn't want sprinkles on oh, their dessert? That's right. That's fun great. and festive. I do like the idea of doing the funfetti cake because it adds a little bit of like Playfulness. Yeah, playfulness to the cake. Yeah, it's dessert, you know? Yeah, Why and it not? should be fun, right? Exactly. I have still my secret ingredient to show everybody for the garnish as well. So we have that coming as well, so. We ain't done, baby, we ain't done. This is where I feel like you could seal the victory, and this With is why I, Yeah, <laughs> this is where I kind of feel like the rubber hits the road kind of thing. Like, it it's is gonna nice be to have nice, some skills like, under my belt, like yeah. things that I learned in school. Yeah, I think so, because I would so, not know how to make a ganache out of evaporated milk and whatever the heck frosting. else Frosting. Yeah. <laughs> so typically ganache, you make it with like really good fancy chocolate and mm -hmm. heavy cream. Yeah. And you would do it over a double boiler, get it nice and silky and beautiful, right? Dollar Tree doesn't have either of those. They don't have really good fancy chocolate and they don't have heavy cream. But I saw the evaporated cream and I got an idea. I could get a pretty similar consistency with some vanilla frosting and some evaporated cream and I'll just microwave them together and make them soft and melty and silky and it'll be a beautiful sauce to put over top. If this actually works, then I gotta That'll hand work. it to you for you being the most creative with the ingredients. Well, thank you. So. so we'll see if it works. All right, we're doing a taste test on Tara's ganache. It looks like a ganache. I didn't even really need to heat it up at all. I mean, that's gonna taste good on there. I mean, that's honestly better than frosting. I kind of want to use some of this on my yeah. dessert. Go ahead. But it's better than just like topping with regular frosting for sure. Right. So we're going to do a quick check-in on the dessert here. Uh, that's mine to the right. Looking pretty good. Crust is starting to go and Tara's butter is melting. All right. Okay, so Tara and I have finished our desserts. This is exhibit one, or we'll call it exhibit A. So this is Tara's <laughs> and this is exhibit B. Um, and that's mine. <laughs> so we're not gonna tell the girls they're out here right now. I'm gonna call them out. Oh Come on out. I'm scared. Why are you scared? Because you guys are rushing so much. Who's scared to eat delicious de after school dessert? I'm so full. I had literally nine <laughs> chicken nuggets. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, you always have room for something sweet. All right, dig in. You're gonna, you kind of want to try the bacon with the dessert, right? Don't you think? No? However you want to do it. Mm. It's a However deconstructed. This part right here looks really good. And I think that's, that's a ganache on there. Uh, <laughs> good. 
It's definitely it's, bad. It's Dollar Tree bacon, by the way. So oh. I didn't think it looked bad for Dollar Tree bacon, though. Mm. It's really actually tastes pretty good. Yeah. Um. Um. All right, let's. So get Dad it. definitely made this one. Okay, okay, you think I made that one? Yeah, because okay. you're like, it's a ganache, I think, guys, and you should be eating. Trying to play it off. <laughs> Um, yeah. You think Dad made it? Okay, all right. How guys. does it taste? From a scale of one to five, five being the highest. Like a four. Five. A four? A four? Wow, a five. That's, that's a good rating. Five. Four is a good rating, so what is it missing to not be a five? Well, Rory gave it a five. Yeah, I she, feel like she, it has all the elements for her. I don't know, I just feel like I haven't tried the next, the other one yet, so I don't have anything to compare it to. Okay. Okay, you guys ready for the next one? No, these dish? all did come from the Dollar Tree, all these ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? It's like, Dollar even the peaches? Yes. Yeah, it's everything a, came from the Dollar Tree. I thought they these came from like those little cups. No. It's just a can. A can of peaches. Can. Oh. can of peaches, yeah. All right, yeah. dessert number two, I'll get it. Wait, come on. All right, your grab your spoon. And the next dessert is coming you on out. Clean your spoon roll with your mouth. <laughs> All right, okay. here you go. Here's the next dessert. You can open. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is that. Oh, that's mine. I'm not changing your mind. I thought this was. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, wait, okay. wait, my taste good. Okay, okay. Let's try. It's, it's it not... just looks like a lot of flavors. So together. the okay. <laughs> so the presentation is not as good as the Does other one. The other one wins in presentation. Yeah, this looks like too much. That one. Yeah. I don't want to be mean. <laughs> Both of them ten. Both of them five. You don't want to be mean. You can give your real score. It's fine. What is that face? I don't understand. <laughs> it's like strawberry syrup. It tastes like strawberries? <laughs> There's strawberry syrup. There is oh, a yeah. little strawberry, strawberry syrup, syrup on that. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird with that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It just right, tastes weird with so the strawberry syrup. Okay, but I will say, like, the actually, the flavor, like, without the strawberry syrup, would be pretty good. It kind of tastes like French toast. Oh, yeah. That sounds yummy. Because it, it's apple pie filling. So, mm -hmm. oh, so yeah, that's, that's why it tastes like French toast. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so if you right. have to guess whose was whose, that's mom's is dad's. What do you think, Rory? Do you agree? Do you think that one was mine? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> and pizza. Um, your presentation, like with the ice cream scoop and the bacon and the ice cream, just looks more like, you know, like culinary. <laughs> this <laughs> looks this more true. like something dad would make with all the different flavors Home and like. Style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's not much freshness in it, but like I tell, no, stop. <laughs> I sound so mean. But like, no. you had like the nice fresh thing, which I know you like putting in your desserts, like yeah. the peaches uh -huh. or like any of your food, you like putting that freshness. But dad's like, potatoes, carbs, 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 carbs. So I could kind of tell. All right, who's the winner? <laughs> I would give this a three, so I think mom's the winner. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Every week, so he'll have his chance to win, guys. Yep, I'll have my chance. <laughs> I will get it. I will say I didn't taste yours. Let me taste it. I do actually it's want to actually taste it. It's actually not bad. Okay, no. 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 let's yelling at the dogs. But you will be able to tell the strawberry syrup makes it taste a little Yeah, funny. it is a strawberry syrup. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if it was just without that, it would taste It made it taste good. very artificial. Oh, yeah. Okay. But it does taste like a yummy French toast. Yeah, it does. All right, guys, so we're going to see who the winner is going to be next week. So thank you all so much for watching, and remember to do one thing. Eat, Eat your, your pickles, pickles, kids. Bye.